In this video, we're going to install and configure Kodi to be able to stream uh, movies and TV shows from over the web. First thing you're going to want to do is open up a web browser and search for Kodi. This will take you to the Kodi homepage. We're going to install Kodi version 17 Krypton, which is the latest alpha build. Um, I like this build a lot better than previous builds due to the revamped GUI interface, which I think they did a great job on. So head on over to the downloads page, scroll down, and go to development builds. Here, since we're on a Windows system, we're going to do the Windows installer. You can also download Kodi on Android and Linux, um, as well as Mac OS. However, on iPads and iPhones, you have to have a jailbroken device in order to install it. So go ahead and download that and then run through the installation, which is quick and easy. Next, 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 pretty much the entire way through. And then run. So this is Kodi. This is the brand new interface that they made that is very nice, clean, and organized. Um, and so the first thing we're going to want to do is to go down to the gear icon, which is settings. We're going to go to system settings. And then under at the add-ons tab, we want to go to unknown, unknown sources and enable it. We are going to add an unknown source, but um, we know where it comes from, so it's okay. Hitting the backspace key on the keyboard. I'm now going to go back to the folder icon down here. And I'm going to hit Add Source. Double click it. Double click in here. And we're going to type in HTTP colon slash slash fusion dot TV add ons dot ag go ahead and press done and then give this a name I'm just gonna name this fusion hit done and press OK once that's added hit backspace and go to the add-ons tab which we're now going to go to the add-on browser going to install from a zip file and we're going to navigate to fusion that's the source we just added so hit that go to start here and click the very first one plugin dot program add-on installer 1.2.9 um, when you do this it, it may be a, an updated version and you'll see the add-on installer enabled once you see that, go back to the main page, click on Add-on Installer. And we're going to go to the Featured Add-ons. That's where they hold pretty much the best video add-ons. Uh, we're going to be installing two of these today, um, my two favorites. First of all, Phoenix. Phoenix has a, a bunch of good movie repositories and lists in it that are high quality. So it's going to run through a few scripts and download that as well as install it for you. You just have to sit back and watch. All right, and that's done. So now going back, I'm going to install one more. I'm going to install salts. Stream all the sources. All right, 
and so those should both be installed now. So going back to the main menu, under the add-ons tab, I'm once again going to go to the add-on browser, and I'm going to go to my add-ons, scroll down to video add-ons, and here are the add-ons we just installed, so I'm going to enable these. And now they show up on your home page under the add-ons. So g getting into these, I'll first show you Phoenix. Phoenix, um, it's a list of a few different video repositories. And it combines all of these into the Phoenix new releases um, group, where it shows you the latest video releases that have come out. So if we click on that, we'll see the, the latest movies that have uh, come out. So, for instance, we could try um, X-Men Apocalypse, which is not currently on DVD or Blu-ray yet, but coming here we see we have three links. I typically find that the best quality link is number one, so if we click that, great movie by the way. Magneto's a total badass. Ah, it looks like that stream failed, so let's try Link 2. Some links take longer than others, but they usually take under a minute to load. And there we go. Start it up. Might have some uh, Chinese subtitles on it because it's still in theaters. But it's decent. Looks like a, a cam copy. Not the best quality, so personally I wouldn't watch it. But other movies such as, um, let's see what we got here. Try Zootopia. Let's go. To, let's see what kind of quality they've got here. And this is almost 1080p quality here, so very good. Um, hitting O on the keyboard will show you detailed information on the stream, such as the resolution and the audio speakers that it's using. So this one is using front left and front right speakers at 32 bits. Very good. That's definitely watchable. Uh, going back, I, I want to show you my, my favorite uh, sources here. I like 1242415 TNPB and Valhalla. Valhalla is probably my favorite um, due to the quality of its streams. If you go to Hot Movies, once again, these are the, the latest releases. Um, I've usually found that Valhalla has the best quality of the, the newer releases. So, trying out... Um, well, in fact, let's search for something. So if we press left, the left arrow on the keyboard, go down to search and type in something. Let's try Batman or Superman. There it is. Let's go ahead and try that. And very good quality here. 1920 by 800. Just about 1080p. There we go. And uh, it's very similar for the other sources. 1242415 is very good. Um, it has a lot of different collections. The only problem is you cannot search through this. So um, if you're looking for a movie on a Friday night but you don't know what you're looking for, this would be a good place to come to look through the certain collections that it has. 
So it's got the top 300 movies on IMDb, which I find very nice. All very good streams. So, 1080p, Lord of the Rings right there. Very good. And that's uh, Phoenix in a nutshell for you. Let's go over to stream all the sources and I'll show you how that's different. Add-ons, salts, there we go. There's movies. And now we're going to go to, let's go to some popular movies here. And just like uh, Phoenix, it has a couple different repositories of movies. So these are popular ones that are being streamed online. Um, the biggest difference here is, one, we can search through all of the movies. So if we know a specific movie we're looking for, um, if we're looking for Gladiator, we can find that right here. Hit enter. And what Salts does is it scans through different repositories online across the web and finds all streams that are available. But this will range in quality as well as um, speed. So using this application is where you really have to know where the source is and what quality you're looking for. So as we see, these, these are medium quality, high quality. Um, I'm a quality snob, so I don't do anything less than HD. So there's a HD 720p, and here's a HD 1080p. G video is by far the best source you will find here. Um, I almost don't even try any of these other sources anymore just because they're either too slow or they don't work. Um, find a G video 1080p and you should be good to go. Got 1080 and streaming just fine right there. What you can do if you spend some time going through the settings of Stream All the Sources is set it so that it sorts the sources by quality. So 1080p will be at the top, 720p below that, and high below that. Um, that's what I usually do, but since we just set this up, I, I'm not going to go through and do that. And that's, that's salts in a nutshell for you. Go to the... Uh, recently updated movies and see what's there. These are movies that were added last to this streaming source. Uh, so we can see what other lists were. Uh, we could add a list here if we wanted to. Movie most. Most played this week. So it looks like a lot of people were watching Suicide Squad this week. That just came out in the theaters, so... Probably not a lot of good quality sources for that. Let's check it out. There are a lot of sources, but probably no HD ones. Yeah, no HD ones. That's all right. But that is Cody. Um, another thing you can do is add your own movies that you have saved locally um, to Cody. So if we go to Movies and then Enter File Selection, you go to Files, you're going to want to navigate to where your files are stored. So for me, they're on a, um, a network device, but luckily I have those mapped to my Windows account. So let's go to Movies, and that's where my movies are stored, so let's press OK. I'm going to name this Movies. Directory contains movies. I want the information provider to go to the movie database, which is IMDb. And I want it to scan recursively, meaning that it'll scan through folders to find your video files. And I do want it to refresh information. So 
So it is scanning through my video files right now, adding them, as you can see up here. And soon they will appear in movies, and Cody does an amazing job organizing your content for you. So it'll go to the most recently added videos that you have. It'll, it'll sort them by what year they were created in. It'll sort them by movie sets. So if we click on that, I, it'll, I have the Alien collection, a few movies in there. Um, it'll put all my Batman movies in this collection. Who doesn't like Batman Forever? Riddler. Awesome. Jim Carrey. Um, and so on and so forth. As you can see, it does a great job sorting all of your movies for you. You can, you can go by genre, by actor, and you can even create your own custom tags. So great job. Cody's a very powerful tool that will help you be a couch potato. I hope you enjoy. Yeah.